Hi, my name is Tom Berkner, and I sort of happened upon the Joshua Tree area while I was moving from New Jersey to California. And rather than being greeted by you know the wineries and the coastline and the rolling hills and smooth weather of California, we were hit with the Mojave and the Colorado deserts and a fairly harsh terrain. And these rest stops with the, that were abandoned, with dead palm trees, and, and there's this one exit that had these this ring of palm trees. I, I, I guess they were palm trees. They were so bizarre looking. Tall, burnt looking things that were organized in a ring. I'm like, what is this? Then we came upon a, um, you know, these, these endless fields of these monumentally scaled wind turbines that are spinning around like daggers <laughs> into the sky. And I was like, what is this place? And like, I need to, you know, I need to come back here. And every time I drove through that region, um, the Joshua Tree Highland, you know, the Joshua Tree National Park region and, and all that part around uh, Palm Springs and everything, I was always fascinated by um, how otherworldly it was, right? This kind of alien territory. And so I don't know why it took me so long to do it, but I finally realized, I thought, like, you know, I'm going to apply to the, this residency that I see here. It's not something I do normally. Painting, I think, is a very isolated and individualistic enterprise, but I really wanted to explore this place that I had been now thinking about for uh, several years. So I'm living in El Paso now, decided to do it, and uh, driving there, after I got accepted, it was it was very exciting. I realized as I was building, making the application how that this had the potential to be an epic journey, and it, it was an epic journey. It was some of the best weeks of my adult life. And as I was turning off of I-10, to uh, take the road up to Joshua Tree, I realized that the very exit I was taking is where this ring of these burnt or deaded, deadened uh, palm trees um, were located. And it was like almost like a portal to an alien world. And um, it was a great world, though. It was uh, every bit as good as I thought it was going to be. I paint areas that are uh, really based in the places themselves. And usually they're places I've known for a very, very long time. Um, but coming to Joshua Tree, I was working in places like Desert Center, like Joshua Tree itself, into the turbine fields outside of Palm Springs, down as far as the Salton Sea and Slab City. And through it all, um, I never felt like it was territory where I didn't belong. I felt like I was absolutely meant to be there. And um, it really did change a good deal of the way I'm thinking about the work I'm doing. Um, but I think part of that reason of of that of like feeling right there was also the fact that this residency, the JT residency, is really uh, run by people that are um, extremely cool, extremely generous, extremely um, just nice to be able to open up. That they open up their houses and their lives and spend time with people to give them the opportunity to work in a unique place. And they do it for nothing more than um, the sheer pleasure of just trying to um, help other people in the arts out and make the arts a more powerful force in their lives and the lives of other people. And so um, that generosity is something that I will never forget. And um, I thank everybody involved with the um, with the residency for the simple fact that it was um, was and continues to be um, one of the best places that I've ever been. And um, it's a time that can't be um, replaced or duplicated. So thank you, everybody, and hope you enjoy the show.